Sale.com here for a soft-sided ice challenge. Today we have the Patriot 20, which is actually a 15-quart cooler, versus the Torrit. On the tag it says it's 17-quart, but online it says it's 21 liters, which is about 22 quarts. I'm more inclined to believe this is a 22-quart cooler because it is significantly larger than the 15-quart that I have in front of me. We want to test these two. We've in the past tested the Torrit soft-sided, and we've also tested a hard-sided small cooler by Patriot. In fact, it was one of our best performing small coolers. So now we want to test the soft sided uh, against the Torrit, which also performed really well in the soft sided test. So in front of me, we'll go ahead and show you. We went to the store, you'll see right now, and filled up the coolers with 10 pounds of ice like we've done in our past challenges. So if you want to make a comparison with these coolers to some of our last ones, like the Yeti Hopper, the Ingle HD, uh, we've tested a few others. If you want to make that comparison, it's the exact same circumstances. 10 pounds of ice, two beverages on top. Like you see, I'm going to put those in in a second and we'll be underway. So let's take a look on the inside. You can see how much 10 pounds of ice filled up of these coolers. Uh, like I said, again, here's the tag on that. Uh, 20 cans and 15 quarts and 10 pounds of ice filled up about, I think it's about 50% on this cooler. You can see a good uh, waterproof zipper on the front. So it's a little bit stiff, but it is a waterproof zipper. So like I said, about uh, 50, maybe 60% filled up with uh, 10 pounds of ice. And uh, like the tort that we've tested in the past, you get a little styrofoam there and the styrofoam are, sorry, foam on the sides and foam on the top as good insulation. So I'll go ahead and seal that one up and move over to the turret. <laughs> And as you can see on this torrent, the 10 pounds of ice definitely doesn't fill up as much. Uh, we got a temperature reading of 92 degrees on the surface, uh, 48 degrees on the inside, but I just put in the, uh, the thermometer, so it's not exactly accurate. And as you can see, the uh, 10 pounds of ice only fills up about 30% of this. So we'll go ahead and throw in the two beverages, same type of waterproof zipper on the torrent. Go ahead and move this over. And this is a backpack cooler. I'll show you that as well. You have a backpack uh, carry on the side and two storage pockets on the side, which is a little different from the tort that we tested in the past, which is more like this Patriot here next to me. So as you can see, we have these two coolers sitting out. We have them spaced out. So one is not going to cast a shadow on the other. We have a good stretch of weather coming in Florida. So we're going to leave these coolers out for the duration of the test. And like we've done in all of our other videos, we're going to rotate the beverage just two times a day from top to bottom, bottom to top. It allows you at home to see a visual representation of the progression of ice melt. And for your sake at home, we will speed through that and pick up at the end of the video when we have an idea of how long these two coolers can hold ice. After two and a half days, we've reached the end of the test. Both coolers in front of me held ice for roughly two and a half days, which seems to be the pattern that we're developing with these soft-sided coolers. Most of the soft-sided coolers that we've tested in the past held ice anywhere from two to three days, and those coolers were between 15 and 30 quarts. So this is fitting right in line with our past results, albeit the temperatures in this test were a little bit cooler than they were in our past test, but still, I think these coolers hold ice for over two days, probably two and a half days as well. So again, fitting right there in line with what we've tested in the past. Overall solid performance from both of them. I'm going to have full write-ups of these online on CoolersOnSale.com. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going. We'll be back with more videos next time.